So day 13 started with hike to Kala Pathar, followed by Raghav's evacuation and then me returning to Lobuche. Now there I was done with Renjola Pass, Chola Pass, Everest Space Camp and Kala Pathar. Now the only pass that was left was Kongmala Pass, which was the toughest pass as per our guide Shambhu. But I was all alone. Raghav was no longer with me. So I was not sure whether I should go for Kongmala or leave it for another time. After Raghav's evacuation, I reached Lobuche and the next day was Kongmala. Last 3-4 days were like multiple hikes, back to back, in high altitude and my body started reflecting tiredness, my face was swollen, my feet were swollen and my coughing increased. So I was not sure whether I should go for Kongmala or not. We ABC and Kalapatar time pe complete kiya uske baad hamara ek baaki tha khongmala wo sabse highest aur top topest bhi tha kyunki udhar bahut steep tha aur lamba rasta bhi tha usliye thoda khongmala hard tha so i was just not sure so on reaching lobuche i decided to call up my cousin so my cousin she is actually 22 years uh, younger to me so she is just 16 but she inspires me a lot, she motivates me a lot and uh, I checked with her and she said Why are you confused for the third pass? Prioritize your health, but you can go to the next time You can go to the Everest Base Camp, it's a one time thing, so you should do it You should give your full 100% and the rest of it will be the second day But you should try to do the third pass for the third pass Stay focused and take care of it. So she motivated me to go for Kongmala, but I was still not sure. So I thought of discussing that with uh, Shambhu and I asked Shambhu that tell me honestly, what do you think? Should I go for Kongmala? Ma'am ne mere se suggest liya ki kya Kongmala karna chahiye ya nahi chahiye. उसके बाद मैंने मैम को कहा कि क्योंकि टू पास काम ने कंप्लीट कर किया था और एक ही बाकी था होंगमाला उसलिए मैंने बोल दिया हाँ आप कर सकते हो मैम क्योंकि एक ही बाकी है होंगमाला उसके बाद हम मैं थ्री पास हो जाता है ना उसलिए मैंने बोल दिया मैम को और मैम ने ओके चलो उसके बाद Yes ma'am, you should go for Kongmala. Time will be done, but you will do it. You have already done two passes, so you must go for this third pass. And I was like, wow, there was a time when when Shambhu felt that I could not even do Gokhuri. And today Shambhu is advising me not to skip Kongmala. So I was really surprised. And I felt good when, when Shambhu showed that confidence in me. But then he suggested to change the destination. So as per the itinerary, it was from Lobuche to Chukhum via Kongmala Pass. But he suggested to change the destination. And rather than going to Chukhum, we should plan for Dingbuche because it will make the following days easier and lighter. But going to Dingbuche means additional two hours. But then with this additional challenge in hand, I decided to go for Kong. Next morning, I got up at 4.30 and the weather was bad. There were thick clouds all over the sky. I thought that Kongmala had to be skipped. But then I thought, let Shambhu take that call. As I was packing, I started coughing. And my cough got worse that morning. I was coughing for almost half an hour. I puked, I had tears in my eyes. I felt as if my breath would stop. It was that bad, it was really bad. And then I just prayed to God and said that, you decide whatever is best for me. I will just go with the flow. Whatever you choose for me would be 
the best decision and with that thought I packed and I was there in the hall with Shambhu and then I noticed that that the entire sky was all clear like in just 40-45 minutes the the weather changed completely and that was like a positive sign and it reinforced that belief in me as if Bhagavad was telling me that you just check it out आज हम हमारा लास्ट पास कॉन्ग माला पास कम्प्लीट करेंगे सो वील मिस राघव बट वील इंश्योर दैट हम कॉन्ग माला पास कम्प्लीट करें और इसकी कम्प्लीट करने पर हमारा थ्री पासिस ट्रैक जो है कम्प्लीट हो जाएगा एंड हियर इज दीम आर यू रेडी So just like Renjola Pass and Chola Pass, Pongmala too had three phases to to cross it. So phase one was a short ascent in the beginning. Phase two was like crossing the glacier, and then phase three, the final ascent to reach at the top of the Pongmala Pass, and then as usual, long descents to follow. So the first ascent was quick, and there I was. on the one side of kumbu glacier so i could see the kumbu glacier and right after that kongwala pass god this was super quick i was happy that i could see the pass and it is pretty much doable it's it's right there in front of me but when it comes to mountains especially in the everest region it's always farther than it looks it's always taller than it seems and it's always harder then it feels and this is so true for pongmala There were places where I had to let go of the hiking sticks and use my hands to get support while crossing the huge boulders. There were flags on the way to guide the hikers because the route was very confusing because there was no guided trail. I was just crossing boulders. There were several ups and downs, but the views were just magical. They were just out of this world. It took me 2 hours to cross the first two phases 
of Kong Mala Pass. So imagine in less than two hours, I was done with the initial ascent and I had already crossed the Kundu Glacier. In less than two hours, I was standing right in front of Kong Mala Pass, unaware of the fact what was waiting for me next. As I started phase 3, it felt as if phase 3 has its own sub phases. The mountain was never ending. I think it took me 4 5 hours to reach to the top of Pongalapas. I was extremely tired because the inclination throughout was extremely steep. Actually, it was like climbing three mountains in that phase three. I kept looking up and wondered how much more. Sambhu, how much more do you want to climb? Yes, I want to climb. Oh. Now we are going down and down and down. We are going down for two hours. Yes, that's it. We are going down for two hours. It's very steep. Very, very steep. Then Shambhu realized that I was tired, so he took my backpack from me and uh, I told him that please take it only till we reach to the top of Kongmala. I find carrying a backpack very helpful for uh, such kind of treks. It holds my lower back really tight, so I told him okay, so please take it till we reach to the top and afterwards give it back to me. Oh God, I can't even imagine. How far are we going? More than 600 meter elevation we have gained. I was standing on the side. I was standing on the side. And I was like, oh shit. We have standing on the side. Very tough. Very, very tough. I think 75 degree, 80 degree. Incline a very climb here. The last patch just before the top was the trickiest. It was like a heap of loose rocks and stones and I was walking on that slope and I could see stones falling from the top. So it was very scary, it was similar to North Jumpa Glacier. Somehow I kept going and going and around 12 in the noon I reached at the top of Kong. And as they say, the best views come after the hardest climb. I was lucky to see the glimpses of these mountains. Finally, 
finally at top of Kong Malapas. It was very steep, very steep, very tough. I must admit, toughest among three. Pahar khatam hi hai. Chardi ja rahe, chardi ja rahe, chardi ja rahe. पूरे ट्रिप में सबसे ज़्यादा जो मुझे हेल्प किया वो हमारे गाइड एंड पोटर्स सो बिग थैंक्स टू शम्भू इस वर्षा रितम एंड माय फेलो हाइकर्स एंड रागव आई एम मिसिंग यू टुडे नहीं तो हम ये साथ में करते एंड विद इन नो टाइम क्लाउड्स अपीयर एंड कवर्ड द इंटायर व्यू द वेदर गॉट बैड Nothing is visible. Or a uh, snowfall should be okay. We were like just in time. See the top we reach here because now we have to descend. And this trail is far better than to abha. To abhi ham chhod ke aaye because wo bahut zada, bahut zada steep tha. <coughs> so let's see. Yahan se ab ham jayenge Ding Bujhe. Ding Kongmala Pass. The distance from Lobuche was five and a half kilometers, and after Kongmala, the downhill trek to Dingboche was another ten kilometers. बादल आ गए थे वर्षा घूम ही गया था बट नाउ यू फाउंड हिम अभी जा रहे हैं बहुत तेज हवाएं चल रही हैं बहुत तेज वी शॉर्टकट इन बिटवीन दैट सेंटर सम टाइम इट वाज रिस्की बट आई वाज रेडी टू टेक अप दैट रिस्क दैट स्लोप वाज वेरी स्टीप and it put a lot of pressure on my knees so in total that day we covered 15 and a half kilometers reaching dingboche i noticed people were looking at me in suspicion they it doubted me not because i was a woman but because of my weight and because of my fitness levels they were wondering ki waqai ye teen passes karke aayi hai congratulations madam thank you uh, maine nahi socha tha ki aap kar paoge three pass but aapne kar liya maine abhi tak ab बहुत सारे लोग के थ्री पास का ट्रिक था वो नहीं कर पाए थ्री पासिस और ये मेरा फर्स्ट ग्रुप है जिसने ये थ्री पासिस इंक्लूडिंग ई और कलापत्र किया मेरे को बहुत अच्छा फील हो रहा है द बिगेस्ट ट्रिक आई लर्न अबाउट सर्वाइविंग दिस हार्श क्लाइमेट और सर्वाइविंग दिस एक्सट्रीम वेदर वॉज टू गो स्लो let your body acclimatize organically 
and I was very happy about the fact that I was about to complete my trek and I did not take any medicines yet and that happened because I let my body get accustomed to the weather naturally right so I was super slow throughout the trek I was taking baby steps I did not rush I did not uh, took anything lightly I was I was paying a lot of attention to what was happening to my body I was continuously observing my breath I was observing my each and every step and that is required when you go on such extreme tracks so there I saw another big group from India it had almost 20 people in that group and I was surprised at the way they were talking to each other about their health and the medicines they were on I mean they were very casually discussing You had Diamox, I had taken it in the morning Now you can also take it in the morning And I wondered how people were taking their health so casually And later on this trek I was told that 15 people from the same group had to be evacuated one after another because they ran into health issues so please do not take your health lightly pay close attention to it but at the same time also be mindful of when to start tablets because if you start tablets too early in your trek and you don't let your body get acclimatized naturally then most likely you will end up with oxygen mask very soon.